Hey guys, what's happening? Now today I have with me an Audi A4 2 liter turbo diesel. Um, these things are supposed to be running around 136 brake, 140 brake, yeah. but this one is remap. It's got a stage one ECU remap. Uh, should be running about 200 brake, something odd like that. So uh, I'm just going to be driving it today, testing out, seeing how it drives, and letting you know whether it is worth it or not. I'm trying to get something, um, a normal car. This is just like a normal family car. Um, just give my opinion on it and especially on the ECU remap because um, a lot of people don't know whether they should go for a stage 1 remap or not whether it will make any difference whatsoever so then you can actually tell uh, one thing I can tell off the bat is the sound so this has no exhaust it just has, a, as you can see, it has an upgraded intercooler and an air filter. I think that's it pretty much. And this the EC remap, that's what it has at the moment. And uh, from the cabin, you can act, you can actually hear the, the turbo noise from us. No dump valve, no wastegate, just the sheer, the sheer noise of the turbo itself. What do you think? Yeah, um, sounds pretty good, you know. I mean, I'm not a car guy, but still sounds good. The turbo, you can hear it inside, so that's good. You can, especially when you turn the window down. I don't know. Yeah. If I put the window down. You can hear it. Just let this lady go. <laughs> All right. You can hear the the little like um, the air just kind of whooshing through the turbo. Sounds kind of good. You know, I like that. Like a whoosh. It's quite nice for a stock sounding car. I mean, there's no exhaust on there, so you can hear that. I don't know. I don't know if you can pick that up. Yeah, probably. Probably can. You think so? Yeah. It sounds alright, to be honest. For, for a completely. It does. Stock it does pull the. Apart from the EU. It does pull the. I can't lie. Okay guys, so right off the bat, it's it's nice to drive, it's quite nice to drive, it's smooth, so obviously again, everyone knows that diesels are quite smooth. This is a 2009, so it's, I mean it's not old, but it's not new either, but it doesn't feel like it's old, driving it anyway, it doesn't feel like it's old, I mean the back it has a lot of space in the back, so if you have like, if you want to carry the shopping, Carry the kids. Carry the kids. <laughs> Cats and dogs. It's got enough space. It's got more than enough space. It's quite a big car. Especially even from the outside, it's quite a big car. And um, it's got it's definitely got enough power to to back the the weight of the car. The weight is quite a heavy car, to be honest. Again, diesels are quite heavy. But diesels have more torque. They're more torquier. And I think again, I uh, said that this was running about around 200, 210 brake. Uh, the torque on this is quite crazy. It's got 400 newton meters of torque. This thing, 400, 400 newton meters, <laughs> roughly. That's just a, that's just a that's an estimate. It's not really been down or anything, but it has around 400 newton meters, which is quite torquey. That's because of the ECU remap. And again, diesels are really good, to, good for tuning. But we'll do a couple of pulls, uh, and then we'll see how how she how she runs. How she but I mean, as a passenger, what do you think? How does it feel as a passenger? Is it comfortable? Yeah, I mean, um, it's, it's smooth, the, the drive is smooth. The only thing is that it does pull, like, literally, like, when you drive forward, like, fast, right? You get pulled back in your seat and it's like, you wouldn't expect that from this car, right? It's like a, it's almost a sleeper, but it's yeah, not. It's, not, it's a half sleeper. Right, but let's try a pull here, second gear. She pulls, she's comfortable, it's 
drive. The steering was nice and light, very nimble and easy to drive. Yeah. Uh, it feels quite big in the cabin, but once you start driving the car, you get used to it. You get used to the movements, and this is really easy to maneuver. Uh, we're gonna get more cars on this channel. This is just this is my personal vehicle, which I'm reviewing, and uh, I'm I'm kind of mainly reviewing it just to show you guys um, who want who are looking for a normal car. Um, nothing crazy I mean the insurance on this is not too much it's a 2 litre but because this is diesel again it's not high on insurance so uh, that's another factor to take in mind uh, and um, I mean for young it's like obviously how old are you? I'm 19 man you're 19 so you might not be able to get insured on this but anyone over maybe yeah. I mean you might be able to on under your parents name maybe yeah I mean like I'd still have to pay a lot for that so you see yeah I mean just have a look around. I mean, I would say this is around 2021 20, age group. But it depends again. Try, but you it's know. to anyone really. That yeah, like, I mean, because this is not insurance. Uh, this is not high on an insurance group. But yeah, I, I I quite enjoy driving this vehicle. I don't know how you feel. In no, the I, li I like it. I like it because you're you're quite frequent in the back too. <laughs> I mean, not like <laughs> like that. I mean, as in like a passenger when we go out and. Why did you have to you say that? You know, Daz would see this. <laughs> Daz would see this, man. You said it. No, but you laughed at it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, what happens at the back? <laughs> no, I mean, you was a passenger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. It's quite spacious. I don't know, because I'm mostly driving this car, so. Yeah, that, that falls with you. I mean, you get you get um, all in one car if you think about it. You got the style, the look, the speed, the whatever that like, you would want in a car, right? You got the yeah luxurious seats and everything. It's pretty much got everything in one the package. Yeah. So if you're not looking for like an expensive car, I mean, you can pick one of these up for about three to four grand, a quite good condition one, and. Um, I mean, yeah, quite good. You have to check though. One thing I would definitely say is the most common fault on these cars, especially the diesel versions, are the, the fuel pump. Now, when you're going to look at one of these cars, make sure you know some background knowledge or you bring someone with you that can obviously check out the vehicle properly. You want to know, you want to get the best bargain for your buck, as they say. And you don't want to end up buying the car and then have to ending to spend more money like on the fuel pump or like the CV joints or you know there's there's so many things that can go wrong and if you check the car properly when you're when you're going to inspect the car then you'll just save yourself a lot more money in the, in the future you don't want to have to you know, buy more parts for it after you've actually purchased the vehicle itself man the sun's in my eye I can't see yeah it. I know <laughs> I can't do it oh. anyway yeah, fuel pump, that's one main thing on these diesels. Um, there's one way of knowing that the pump's actually worn out. And that's, it, take it for a test drive, make sure the car gets warm, like very warm, up to normal uh, temperature. And then turn the car off, turn the car on again. And um, usually when the fuel pump goes, the engine will crank when the when the engine's hot and if it cranks when it's warm once you're starting it that's how you know i mean the fuel pump is knackered it's gone and they're not cheap and there's two fuel tanks on this car for some reason and they're expensive so do your knowledge make sure you expect the vehicle properly don't be like him don't be like me don't be like him whoa what, what is this guy doing, doing man I wouldn't say. Yeah, man. Guys, yeah, I, I hope you're enjoying nothing. this video. There's a uh, there's more review on my on my car. I've got more, a lot more reviews coming up. I mean, I've got a couple of cars planned already. A lot, a lot more. Yeah, and uh, hopefully more exciting ones too. There you go. So um, hopefully I'll be reviewing them. Hopefully. Not in in depth, just like kind of driving it about and telling you what I think. That's it. All the good Simple. stuff. Sometimes I feel like I'm rambling too much. Nah, it's good. It's good. I hope you guys are not bored. But yeah, man.
this is good. I'm telling you, this the acceleration of this is really decent. Like you can beat a lot of just normal cars out there just with an ECU remap on this thing. It's crazy. It's crazy what just just an ECU remap will do to an engine. It's crazy. Yeah, it big. So difference. much torque, it just pulls you to the seat. He wouldn't know it's how not, I, I do. It's not crazy fast, but I mean it's fast. The pickup, I mean like, as you put your foot down, it's a bit lag and then it's gone. Like you, you're doing crazy speeds already. It's a bit fast. I don't get it. It's <laughs> so good. I don't get it. Obviously drive safe guys though, but um Drive safe. We don't encourage any you know reckless driving. Yeah, all the reckless driving. That's on you. Yeah. But yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hey guys, what's happening? Now to off with the mic. Damn it. It's crap audio. Oh shh. You can't really use it.